Well, for the past several years, music students from the Trombone Shorty Foundation have traveled to Havana for a music education exchange program. This year, Cuban students are here to perform. <laughs> Moving New Orleans forward anchor LBJ found the music at Tulane University. Hearing students play jazz in our city is not uncommon, but this group of young people actually hail from Cuba as part of a partnership with the Trombone Shorty Foundation. Kids from the Shorty Foundation travel annually to Cuba fulfilling a mission. And when we started the foundation, we talked about helping to create musicians who are ready for the world. So musicians who could succeed in New Orleans or anywhere they wanted to go. Also a part of this partnership is Cuban music star Seema Funk, who will perform with these students at Jazz Fest and at the foundation's fundraiser, Shorty Fest. I always try to be in the position of, of them, like how it could be for myself being able to travel out of my, home, my hometown for the first time on, on a ride to New Orleans. That's, that's something like a huge, this is the mind change. Because of the current political dynamics of the two nations, the exchange program is not easy to pull off. But the foundation's head said the effort is well worth it. To have these kids, well, A, to return the favor, because Cuba's already given us so much, but to have them come here and experience New Orleans during Jazz Fest, during Shorty Fest, to take the stage with Sima Funk, amazing experience and I think ultimately we hope that music and culture is the bridge that will point towards the future. For Moving New Orleans Forward, I'm LBJ, WGNO News.